Hey, this is Jeffrey Clemens with another drum break for you. Today we have something really special. Um, the figure we're going to dissect is from uh, the great Art Blakey. For those of you not familiar with Art Blakey, you can check him out on YouTube. He was undoubtedly one of the greatest bebop drummers for four or five decades. He played, he was really difficult to imitate or duplicate. He played loud, he played with great precision and great speed and dexterity. Today we're going to take a pretty simple figure and turn it into something you could use as a fill or in a solo. So the figure goes something like this. Um, I'm just going to play it with the right hand for now and then we'll start adding. So it sounds something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. And a two, the other three, the other four, the other one, the other two, the other three, the other four, the end of one, the other two, the other three, the other four, the other one, the other two, the other three, the other four, the other one, the other three, the other one. Okay, now I'm going to add the left hand. All we're really going to do now is turn this into a single stroke roll, starting with the right hand and the accent. The right hand is going to play the same thing as I played before. The left hand is just going to fall in. We're basically playing a single stroke roll. Um, the accents are going to be on the right hand. One, two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? Well, this is where the fun begins. Now we're going to turn this into a double stroke figure. I'm going to subtract a few strokes and watch what happens. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play a flam on one. We're going to count one and a two E. When you get to the end of two, we're going to start playing double strokes with the right hand and it's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. And of two, we end up the end of 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 one. So in context, a little faster, let's say you're playing like a swing type figure, like if you were just swinging out like, like one, two, one, two, three, four. Five. Comes the drum break. Go. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of what it sounds like in context. However, you can play this even as a basis for your solo. Now I'm going to play the same figure and I'm going to move it around the drums and I'm going to speed it up so you can hear what it sounds like in context. I'm going to start on the snare drum, I'm going to speed up, and all I'm really doing is playing the same figure but moving my hands around the toms and whatnot. Okay, it's going to sound something like this. One, two, one, two, three, four.
that makes sense to you. Thanks for checking me out. See you next time.